Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. So this week um, I was working on this Ideal W80 and it wasn't firing and it was taking a while to work out what was wrong with it. So the previous engineer said that they had changed one of the gas valves. I thought it was quite strange that they only changed one of two gas valves and it hadn't been commissioned. So I decided to have a little look inside the burner, give it a clean out. On this unit, there's a few nuts. Previous engineer changed one gas valve, but said that they hadn't commissioned the unit. The air pressure switch was damaged and needed changing, so I replaced that. So this is the fan and burner out so as you can see just pulling the burner out there it is with its mesh and then if you have a little look inside the condition wasn't too bad from looking down into the unit the probes look like they hadn't been touched so as you can see here's the the gasket on the unit it was quite good in the combustion chamber it was good seal and I removed the um, bottom inspection plate as well to have a look inside. As you can see, the inside was um, built up. So I mixed it with 50% um, distilled vinegar and 50% water and just gave it a little spray through. And then inside, you can, if you can see inside here, there was a, a lot of um, blockage, especially near the flue outlet. So I gave that a hoover as well. So here I am hoovering, hoovering it out. It did make the room a bit dusty. The plant room was pretty hot. So I had to ventilate the area, try and open up as many doors as possible and keep as low as possible. So when I wasn't working, I was just trying to keep in the coolest place of the plant room. Eventually I got the boiler on and then I got it into high fire and low. So this is the pressure switch that I replaced. It was leaking and the problem with why the unit was not firing wasn't down to it needing a clean up. It was because an engineer had changed the right gas valve, but they had not made any adjustments. They didn't make any adjustments on the gas valve. So that stopped the unit operate. When I did a drop test to see how much the working pressure was, when the gas valve was opening, it was quite low. I mean, it was dropping. The pressure was dropping when the gas valves opened up because they open up at the same time on this unit. They operate together. I checked both gas valves to see how much it dropped. And I think it dropped to 24 millibar, but that wasn't enough. So the gas valve needed to be adjusted a little bit more. Remember when getting this unit into high fire, you just have to press mode and plus when there's a call for heat and into low fire, hold mode and minus. I popped into Lidl and bought one of these three pound lighters. Um, it's a bit pricey for, for what it is, but I normally get one from, I normally get three or four from the pound shop for one pound, but usually the quality is not that good. So I picked up one of these um, to give them a go in Lidl. I think they also sold in um, other shops as well. I believe um, Asda have one as well. Also, I saw that they sold a spirit level with wings. Not had one of those before, but maybe you're interested in it. Also, they had some files for $5.99, three files in a set. I didn't buy these. I've been um, rolling with the same file for years. They also had some safety boots for £17.99, but they I didn't try them on, but they look a bit cheap. I don't know if I would um, wear these. Um, I don't know how long they would last or if they'd be comfortable. They also had some men's um, men socks, worker socks. Um, these probably would have been good. Also, they had a rip saw um, for £34.99. That's quite cheap. I don't know how good it is. I don't know if any of you guys have one, but if you do, let me know. Um, seemed a bit cheap. I don't know if it comes with any blades. 
Then they had some hand tools. They weren't VDE rated or anything. They had some um, pliers, um, long nose pliers um, and grips. The grips look pretty cheap and tacky, but I guess what do you expect for £2.99? They also had a socket set. I thought this socket set was a bit pricey for £79.99. I think you can get a Van House one in the £40 range um, and I um, it doesn't seem to be that much different from what is available in this socket set. Okay, this one does have 216 um, pieces, but I still don't think it was worth £79.99. I'd rather get um, spend a little bit more and get a Barco set. And then I came across a through system that had to label at risk because it was a Keston boiler and it didn't meet the manufacturer's standards. It was in PVC rather than MU PVC. So that unit had to get at risk. And also the bends were not what the manufacturer expects being 92.5. So here you have it. PVC UB 87. 0.5 not good not acceptable and then i had a look at my channel to see how it was doing these are just the youtube analytics so in the last 28 days i've had 3.8 thousand views it says on here about the same as usual and the top videos in the last 28 days um are check water that's one with the Bosch dishwasher when it gets blocked or when the pump has a problem um, just a few tips how to fix it also a week in the life of a commercial gas engineer that video has taken a liking to some and also um, commercial gas engineer leaks um, compilation and also stranger things um, when servicing so people have liked those um, watch hours so in the last 28 days I had about 140 watch hours that's about the same as, as usual subscribers i've gone down a bit of the subscribers um, so 28 subscribers that's seven fewer than usual returning viewers um, so the purple is the returning viewers the blue is the new viewers this here shows when um the subscribers or should I say when the viewers are on YouTube so when people are watching and then this is the age of my audience um, in the last 28 days so the majority are 35 to 44 year olds and 100% are male now and then there's a few females watching but um, mainly males male audience and your location where you're watching from about 71 0.5% of you in the last 28 days were watching from the United Kingdom where I am and 1.4% in the States and 0.3% in Ireland and a few people choose to turn on the subtitles um, when they are watching um, and about of the watch time 39.6% of the watch time in the last 28 days has been from subscribers so thank you for subscribing and other videos that my audience have been watching are Plum Like Tom, Plum Like Tom again, so a very small cloakroom first fix, and then water heaters, radiators, and vanity units, and heat pump installation. And other channels that my audience have been watching is MJ Tiff Plumbing, um, Alan Hart, Plum Like Tom, Tomcat Gas Training, and Caprani Plumbing and Heating Limited. And also there's a few more. N Bundy Electrical, Skill Builder and Artisan Electrics. Okay, thank you for joining me. Um, please leave some comments in the section below. And um, let me know how you've been doing with all this heat going on at the moment. If you've been working in it, in any plant rooms and so on. How you've been coping. Um, Alright, until next time. Bye bye bye.